Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Fitzogan11. Welcome to episode 15 of Pokemon Dark Rising Origins Worlds Collide. We are in the Wood of Forest. Before we get started with the actual episode, um, we're going to check this place out. Uh, so we, this is the beginning forest, and uh, you can get one of the Royal Knights once you get uh, cut. And uh, you have to train up a bit. Uh, you can take on this lady. She has um, like level 20 psychic types. Uh, so just be careful of that. Alright, so she's gone now, and we can head into the cave. Uh, and, okay, this is it, I guess. So, let's see if we can catch Kudaman. Looks pretty cool. Um, we can see if we can put some damage on it first. It looks to be Psychic type. Alright, so 15 Great Balls, we should get the job done, and there we go. Uh, so we'll check out its stats and stuff in the PC, and I'll see you guys back uh, near the Dragon's Den. Alright, so we got a Lonely Nature, it's Psychic Normal type. Um, I don't think Lonely would be the best nature to get, but it has already Calm Mind, which is pretty good, so uh, definitely a Pokemon, uh, Digimon you should check out if... You want to use it and uh, I'll meet you guys back all right hey how's it going guys uh, we are back and we did some training we're in Techniport and uh, we were told to train up before we went on to the haunted boat so that's just what we did um, we are almost to level 50 with all our Pokemon now um, so we got a few levels on everyone um, Vidramon I thought he could evolve by evolutionary stone I thought someone said that but maybe that's his next evolution um, but he's got really good attack, and, uh, we used our experience share, um, to get Zudamon, uh, to get a Zudamon, we had, uh, it's pre-evolution, and now it has massive defenses, it's a little bit faster than it was, and it has Avalanche, could also have Drill Run, but, um, I felt like Avalanche, to have a physical move, is kind of nice. Uh, Biakmon has not changed. And he didn't really grow many levels, and Charizard's the same as well. Um, so we're going to actually take the XP share, take the Dragon Fang, and... Um, oh, the XP share's up there. We'll give the XP share to uh, Behagmon for a while, and head on to the Haunted Ship. So, it's kind of loud. I'm going to lower that a bit. And uh, it's kind of happy music is weird. Um, what the? Was that a little girl? Leave or you will die. Jeez. Alright, that's kind of an ultimatum. Um, so we can't enter any of these. It's locked tight. I think. Alright. And nobody wants to talk to us, so we'll talk to the sailor. Down here leads to the bottom rooms. Most of the strange activity has been reported on this floor, though. Maybe that's because no one's lasted long enough in this place to reach downstairs. We've been here for a solid three minutes, and nothing's happened yet except for the odd fog. You sure this isn't just a ghastly or rodent playing tricks on people? It's more to it than that, damn it. Hey, did any of you see a little girl near the entrance? No, I didn't. Okay, what's up with these empty bowls near the front door anyway? I don't know. I keep putting them back in the kitchen, but someone or something keeps putting them back on the floor in the same pattern. I don't know what to do to say, dude. There's nothing happening. It's not like we're witchers and we can run around this place trying clues. <laughs> that line was so not needed. Whatever. Look, you can all stay in the rooms downstairs until something happens, because believe me, it will. I'm going upstairs to the captain's quarters. Fine. Bruce is over there. Why keeping a watchful eye on this floor, so I guess we can all chill downstairs in the luxury rooms. Very well. Alright, I don't know, something isn't right about this place, I can sense it. So the battle we're going to have is going to be um, pretty hard, that's why we needed to level up. And we found a Leftovers. Uh, where is it? There it is. I don't know why they're going in random places. Um, I think Charizard wants the... yeah. I think he does best with the leftovers, so... Mars is in there, the door's locked, I'll try again soon. Okay, must be changing or something. And here's our friends. What are about fits? Do you see this? How's this luxury? Well, it's an old haunted ship, so... Gah, whatever. Pulls out a bottle of alcohol, so what's up? How do you like being a part of De Team Dark Rising so far? It's cool, I like you guys, even though you all can be a bit weird. 
Hey, you haven't seen nothing. Growing up in Unova, everything is so bright and the people are so quirky, it's crazy. If the people there are anything like you, I think I'd go nuts after 24 hours. After this is over, we'll take a flight there one day. Sounds like a plan. Barrett's all good, I think I'll go see Blake next. Alright. And a Mew. Okay. Anything suspicious happening? No, but what's that Pokemon? Mew. Came to deliver a message from Arceus to me. So you're able to just communicate and exchange messages with the god of all Pokemon? Yes, it's guided me through several regions in my efforts to defeat Targus. Why can't Arceus just defeat Targus? Why does it need a human being? There's a higher power than even Dargus that Arceus is battling somewhere. So it's entrusted me to stop Dargus, and I'm afraid I cannot share anything more than that. Alright, I guess. Not to meddle in your affairs or anything, but Joanna mentioned Adrian's wife. You, Her name is Alencia, who we battled in a gym, I think. Uh, we were in a relationship before I met Joanna. That is my past. Uh, Joanna is my present and future. That's all. Got it. Well, this has got awkward quick. I'll see what Amaris is doing. Okay. I love running around just as much as the next guy. Oh, Amaris, sorry. I didn't know you were undressed. I'll leave right now. How amusing. It's fine. It's just a casual bra and panties. <laughs> Nothing special. Okay. Well, this got weird. Uh, besides, you're almost an adult, aren't you? Yeah? Then you shouldn't be blushing as much as you are right now. Okay. I'm gonna ask the captain to unlock one of the rooms down here for me. Alright. Just make, uh, make sure you have two beds like me. What are you doing with two beds? Why push them together? Unless you want to sleep in here next to me. Haha, <laughs> I'm just teasing you. I... Loud glass shattering noise is heard. What was that? I don't know. Go check it out. I'll get dressed and meet you there. Alright. That was one of the strangest scripts I've ever seen in a Pokemon game. Um, well, I haven't played those Pokemon Uncensored games and that crap. Uh, hey, Bruce looks more alert than usual. I wonder if he's afraid of the ghosts. Okay. Fitz, who's that little girl over there? Oh, pitiful shadow lost in the darkness, bringing torment and pain to others. Oh, damn soul, wallowing in your sin. Perhaps it's time to die. What are you talking about? I haven't done anything to anyone. You haven't? Liar. The living are all alike, you selfish beings. You hurt others and even kill to satisfy your aspirations. I'll do the same to anyone who dares uh, step foot in the ship. You're dead. You're actually a ghost. Listen, I don't know what happened to you, but no one on the ship wants to hurt you. Trickery is one of the highest trait in humanity. Your words have no power here. I'll kill every single person on the ship, starting now. Fitz, I just received a call from Blake and Barrett. Power on the upper floors is out. Run. Alright. Got a citrus berry, chesto, and... I was going to say cherry. Alright. So let's head up. And... Oh, the power is out. Okay. Uh, nothing in the side trash cans, I guess. Where'd you go? Okay. Ugh, what happened? I was attacked. It took Bruce and Barrett to the captain's quarters. Go. Okay. So, at least we know how the ship works. Is there anything in here? Oh, there is. Choice band. Ooh. Alright, we'll give that to Vidramon. Um... Yeah, it's better than the Silk Scarf. Okay. And we go up to the Captain's Quarters. Let's see. What the? Bruce and Sailor are forced against the wall. Let Bruce and the Sailor go, you little brat. What have they ever done to you? It's not what they've done, but what they've done to others. Let them go. They didn't do anything. Should I use my Pokemon to attack her? She's clearly not human. Go right ahead. No, just give me, give me a minute. Now do you see if I don't comply... You use brute force in response. The living don't care for others. You can't judge all of us. I can judge these two. Both are guilty of killing. Bruce, is that true? Ugh, it was in self-defense. The guy was going to kill his sister. That's enough. You want to judge somebody to judge, judge me. Take me instead. I will. Your monsters are also guilty of harming the innocent. I'll kill them first, then you. If you want to leave the ship with your life, you must meet me on the dock. D... Dianamon will punish your monsters for their crimes as I will punish you for yours. Alright, so we're going to save before we take her on because I think she's pretty tough to defeat. We might still be too low leveled. You can't scare me. Alright. I guess we're the only powerful ones in this group. I don't know what Gene Blake's up to. Uh, but let's save. And we'll start with... Yeah, let's start with Vidramon. Why not? Alright, 
So I guess no one's going to talk to us. I'm ready, but first, tell me how you died. I gave myself to the name Snow because I've lived... Uh, I've long since forgotten what my mother called me. I died because of him. Points to the sailor. What? That's not true. I've never seen you before in my life. Twenty years ago, the ship was attacked by a raging Gyarados. Everyone rushed towards the lifeboats, including me and my mother. This man pushed me aside with force in order to get on the boat, releasing the grip I had on my mother's hand. I died being trampled by the stampede of heartless humans who didn't bother to help me stand. They all stomped on me without care. I've spent the last twenty years watching humanity treat the world and others like shit. Although my memory is vague of that night, I've never forgotten your face, despite how old you've become. I will kill you slowly. Oh my god. Attempts to flee, but Bruce grabs him. This little bitch is crazy, let me go. She tried to kill you too, remember? Snow, I'm sorry about what happened, but I can't let you kill this man. Two rights don't make a wrong. I'm sorry. And wouldn't it be two wrongs to make a right? Whatever. Then you will die with him, just like your Pokemon. Dinamon, come. A freezing breeze fills the air. This is vengeance, so I'm gonna furry... Ferry you to hell. Furry. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I might just let the sailor die. Um, so we've got an ice team, I think. we got Vidramon, who's going to hit him up with a... Our victory star made it hail. Alright, so... Um, we're going to use Choice Banded Brick Break. And if that doesn't kill, I'm going to be pretty upset. I hope we get close combat or something soon, but... Yeah. We could get killed right here. Oh. Didn't go for a nice move. You got a crit, but no para, so that's fine by me. And I'm assuming we can't use thrash now? Yeah. Alright. Just wanted to make sure. And uh, at least we'll get a level, so that's good. So we might just want to choice ban brick break things until we can't. Try and learn Dragon Tail. I don't think that's a that big. No. Well, it's not terrible. I don't use Mach Punch a whole lot, but... Mm, yeah. Since it is a stab move, obviously I'd rather have Choice Band of Dragon Claw or Outrage, but... We'll get that eventually, I'm sure. Um, so Zudamon is the thing we have. It's Ice Water type. Um, which I kind of want a Thunder Punch. Or Thunder Fang. Uh, Charizard can take any of its moves. It has great defense, but I think we should be fine. Let's see how much it does. And maybe we'll Home Claws. Okay. Blizzard, always gonna hit. Alright, so we should... Pwn Claws. And then maybe we can KO with Thunder Punch. Oh. Now we won't be able to. So he's bulk up, but he has Blizzard. So I don't know what that's about. We should be able to two-shot from this range, though. Okay. No para or anything. He's going to bulk up again. Interesting. So I'm going to Fire Blast. Just in case. See how much it does. He's going to Hyper Potion. That doesn't do anything. So that's bad. Crab hammer. Well, shoot. Um, we might lose this one. Alright, let's shoot. I don't want a dragon tail. We need a crit there. Uh, I'm going to restart then, because we can't win this. Yeah, that's not going to be enough, I don't think. Unless we can do revive shenanigans after this. Actually, he's doing less to us than we are to him. Okay, well that worked. We have Frostlass next, um, which kind of stinks. Let's go into B-Hackmon and just crunch. He's higher leveled. A good amount. We might be able to take another Shadow Ball. Ooh, we live on one. That's actually huge. Mega Glalie. So we're definitely going to want to revive. 
We only have five left. Shoot. I didn't realize that. So it does look like he has refrigerate. So I'm going to have to buy healing items for sure. He does. Alright, I think Firefang will just take him out. So, yep. Alright, that's good. Biakmon grows level. Uh, we'll stay in against Obama Snow. Uh, Leftovers is really helping us out. We're hitting all our moves. Which is good. We were able to hit Frost last. So maybe it didn't have Snow Veil. Um, okay. And then this legendary Digimon or whatever. Um, that's helping out the girl. Uh-oh. It's a water type, okay. I can Thunder Punch and should be able to KO. It's probably really frail, but can attack really hard. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. Um... It's going to you. Revive. Could revive Vidramon as well. Okay. It's going to you. See if I can hyper potion. Survive. Okay, that's good. I want to revive something else too, just in case. It's going to put us asleep. It's fine. So out of my two stars, should be able to K. Oh, this thing. He's not getting leftovers or anything. Let's just use one more revive. For B Hackmon. Alright. I think Larry can take care of this, but... There we go. Okay. I was just playing it safe. But we'll definitely get some more uh, revives. All right, let's finish this story then. Snow, what did this man did is unforgivable. I know that, but your soul will never be able to rest in peace until you've accepted what happened and find happiness in the afterlife. Fitz is right. People commit sinful acts every day, but life is more than that. It's a blessing just to be alive. It's a shame you didn't live long enough to understand and enjoy yours. I'm sorry. I know. Dinamon told me the same thing. It stuck by me even though I knew I was wrong. I'm sorry, all of you, and to you. Huh? I've been haunting you ever since that night, and when you moved to Techni City for a job near this very ship, I wanted to make you pay for your sins here. I, I, ugh. Sailor tries to punch Snow, but Baron punches him in the face. You're gonna pay, pal, trust me. I'll see it to myself that you, as will I. Fitz, thank you. I'm letting Dinam... Dianimon free to wander this region now. Find it and train it well. I will. This is farewell to all of you. Maybe someday I'll be reincarnated as a beautiful ice queen that tames a legendary dragon. I've always loved them. Alright, goodbye. This is the end of Beta 1. You can now catch Valcanian at Valley Path. Thank you for playing. Alright, so we'll do that. We still have some time in this episode. And, uh... I'll see you in a sec. So I don't know if we can find Dinimion or whatever already. Um... I'll look into it, and maybe we'll do that next episode. Uh, if we get surf and stuff, we'll be able to do item finding and that sort of thing. Uh, but for now, we'll try to catch Vulcanian. I'm actually going to buy more Great Balls. That would be smart. Uh, I don't think we've found Ultra Balls yet, so... We spent most of our money there, but it's alright. Uh, so, the only like legendary Digimon that we haven't caught, then, if it is roaming around, is Deanimon or whatever, so... Let's talk to these girls. Are you interrupting our teacher conference? Didn't mean to. Alright, choice ban, brick break. Gonna do a lot of damage. And Frost Lass. Alright, she's pretty smart. Firefang still does a lot. Alright. So you don't have to battle these people, I guess. Choice ban, Shadow Claw does KO. They all have the same Pokemon. That's Blizzard and... Yikes. Now let's see if... Yeah, Brian does... 
Pick up the KO. And we'll go into Vidramon. Just thrash. Alright, so these are kind of easier than uh, what we were dealing with. And thrash is nice with Choice Band. And last but not least, Gardevoir. And that's it. Alright, you guys definitely should have caught Volcanion when you had the chance. Uh, I don't know what is in this grass. Obviously, I'm going to be looking for a 15 member, but it's not like I have to catch something. I'm not kind of thinking about that. And if you guys want me to use Volcanion, I uh, might do that too. So, we'll see. Got Solar Beam. Do not enter the cave. Okay. That's probably a good warning. <laughs> but I'm going to... Oh, okay. It's a weird rock blocking the entrance. Whatever. Alright, so we saved. And uh, let's take on Volcanion. Uh, who should I start with? I don't want to bring in Zudamon. Regardless. So, you have a chance to paralyze it. So, whoa, what are you? This is the end of the line, kid. You can't go any farther than this for now. You can talk. This Pokemon has adopted to your language, it seems. Adapted. I've been around long enough to learn your moronic speech patterns, but let's put that aside and talk about something else. I've been watching you from the mountains ever since you defeated that bald-headed bully on Chrome Bridge. I liked your styles, and I'd like to join you on your quest if you're strong enough to capture me in one of those balls you got. Uh, alright. Yeah, sure. Don't get happy, kid. I won't make this easy. See that cave over there? We'll battle inside. Don't make me wait. Okay. So we can go in Dragon Valley as well. Uh, but I want to... We'll do that next episode. For now, I do want to catch Volcanion, like I said I would. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's Thunderfang it. Okay. And Dual Chop, I guess. Ow. Alright, we'll heal up after this, I guess. That's annoying. Matang. No Metagross yet. Alright, so I'll see you guys in a second at the cave. We don't want to take on that just yet. Ooh, you can find Metacham in here, which is pretty nice. Hair crosses, which we've seen already. Probably a few other mega potentials. Alright, so you can also find Pinsir. But let's head into the cave. Hopefully it's not too long. Oh, okay. So we're going to save. And uh, hopefully we can do it on the first try. Level 60. Whew. Alright, hopefully we can get a paralysis. That would be very helpful in catching it. We got a flinch. It's alright. <laughs> I won't complain. Body slam. So he can paralyze us. Ouchie. Alright, we got the paralysis, and now we're just going to throw great balls. I don't even need to damage it any farther, I don't think. He's probably got an insane capture rate. Yeah. And those flame charges are doing a lot. Oh! I didn't mean to do that. Shoot. Well, I just put myself on a timer. And this hail is never going to stop, so... I'm getting so close, too. This is probably my last chance. There we go. Alright, I played stupidly and still caught it, so... I'll take it. Um, let's have billows of smoke... Uh, billows of steam and disappears into the dense fog. Alright, uh, we'll give it a nickname... We're going to go with Blaine. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we'll check out Volcanion. I guess you can catch it multiple times. As long as you don't make it faint. So be sure to save beforehand. And uh, maybe we'll add it to the team. Because, uh... Pick some on. That's cool. And it's pretty fast, apparently. Please. Stop this. Alright, I'll see you at the PC. Alright, so we got Volcanion here with Mystic Water. Uh, adamant Nature, which is why it was hitting Flame Charger so hard. Uh, water Absorb, 
Water Pulse, Earth Power, Flame Charge, and Body Slam. So uh, we're going to put it on the team in place of Fletchling. It'll be our uh, win condition if we ever need one. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This was a long episode, but thanks for staying patient. And I'll see you for the Dragon Valley, and uh, that should be the end of the beta pretty much. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.